Hello, okay, okay, my gente. In my last video, the Voitech and I got pretty rowdy, but today I'm gonna show you how to take a bike from this to this using things you've already got at home. All you're gonna need is a bucket with water, dish soap, a sponge, chain lube, and a rag. There are a few other cheap items that make cleaning your bike even easier, but I'll show you those as we go along. First step with the bike this dirty is to get as much of the mud off as you can before you start applying soap. So you can do that with just a sponge dipped in clean water and then start scrubbing off some of the bike. Or you can take a hose and spray this off, but my favorite way to do it is actually to use one of these little garden sprayers. It's way more efficient than a hose. You use way less water and you don't run the risk of having too much pressure that's gonna blow stuff out and damage your bearings. Let's use this. You should probably also take things off like bike bags and water bottles now. <laughs> In case you're wondering why it's important for you to wash your bike, because this is what happens when you don't. You'll just have the dirt and sand and mud wear away at parts on your bike and then you'll have to replace them sooner. Now that the bike has an initial clean, what we're going to do is clean the drivetrain system first. Here's the initial thinking. If we were to clean the rest of the bike with soap and water, once we get to this, some of this muck and dirt and grease may then spread onto the bike that we just cleaned and then we'd have to re-clean it. So we're gonna start with this, and the way we're gonna do that is take any sort of old container, this, we had some pie, we're gonna throw some water in there, then I'm just gonna throw a little bit of dish soap. You don't have to have special soap that's bike cleaning or something, anything that's going to be a good degreaser, so especially a quality dish soap would do great. Then, an extra bonus would be if you have a brush that you can use specifically for this, there you go, you're just gonna mix it up a little bit and then we're gonna start scrubbing everything that's in the drivetrain. Chain, the derailleur, the pulleys especially you wanna get in there. Try to get it everywhere, get all the stuff, especially when the bike was as dirty as it was. A lot of that grit and grime will have worked its way in. You would be surprised how well it works its way in the things. Now a little hack here would be if you could get this inside of a spray bottle and spray it on, instead of having to do as much elbow grease to actually scrub everything off, you could spray it on and let it sit for a while and that sitting will help break down a lot of things. So you could potentially just spray all the dirt and grime and muck off. And now we rinse. Now this is where a few more upgrades come in. What I would recommend is getting a cheap bike stand, anything that can just keep your bike elevated because it would be awesome if I could take the wheels off right now, really get inside the wheels and really get inside the frame. But this is an amateur way to do it. So I'm just telling you that's a helpful upgrade, but I'm not going to do that. Then some sort of bike specific sponge, this doesn't really do anything special except you know it's kept just for your bike. So you don't have to keep going through the blue sponges or use a sponge that's meant for something else. Then the last good upgrade that I actually don't know if it's worth it is a bike cleaner. Because what you can do, like I mentioned before, is take some of this dish liquid, put it inside of a spray bottle like this and just spray it on your bike and it'll help break down stuff so you don't have to do as much scrubbing. Or just get a bucket, put some water in it and then put a little dish soap in there to make yourself a little soapy solution and then dip the sponge in there and get to work. And 
then last, we're gonna do the wheels. I don't think the wheels are essential because they're gonna stay dirty, but it looks so much better with at least the sidewalls clean, so that's what we're gonna do. Now that the bike is all clean, take a rag and dry off everything. Because otherwise the water will just leave little marks everywhere that's just gonna ruin your nice pretty bike. Woo! You looking good, baby? It looks so different than when we started. My goodness, are you even the same bike? Last thing left now is to lube up the chain and I like to do it in a particular way. If you wanna see that way, click up here on this video. But the bike is clean. All that's left to do now is go get it dirty again. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hasta la próxima, nos vemos.